Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for yet already episode number five of our Beautiful Town series. And of course, I know that creating a beautiful town is quite subjective. I mean, things that I find beautiful you might not like so much. But yeah, for me, this is what a beautiful town looks like. Nice streets, nice cozy housing, things a bit organized, but also still quite funny. So yeah, this is what I enjoy. And I hope you do too, as we start to collect our stones, so that we can build our stone well. Alright, getting close up to a hundred people. And of course we already have a few more houses planned out in the city. I think that's a nice addition. We've built a graveyard last time. And I was thinking about maybe doing something with this little area. Because this will be one of the roads towards the city, the town hall. This will be the big road, of course. But this, this is also a place where I think we should create something. So I was thinking about, let's jump into the village houses without a garden again. Um, simply because we have that on this side too. So that we can create a somewhat similar looking area like the other side there. So we'll make it a bit like this. Then we fence it off, of course, uh, using the uh, natural fencing that we have. And let's see, is this placed in the right way? Not entirely, I think this is better. Alright, we should go all the way up here, I think. Yeah, this is okay. I just wish we could see where all the buildings were, but I, I don't know if there's any hotkey to keep all the buildings highlighted. So far, it's not there. Ah, oh, this is different fencing than we used on the other side. So yeah, this has to go again. But by doing it like this, we create a big area here. And I have plans for that. So let's see what we can do with that. Alright, I can see the flags a bit now. Yeah, this is correct. There we go. And up to the front. Okay, this is nice. Now we go like this, so that all the houses have their own separate yards. Yep. Alright. So now it's the same as this one, and what we're going to do, we're just going to create a little park here. So let's build two entrances. They don't have to be straight towards each other. They can be a little bit on opposites. Then we create some fencing. Oh, interesting. We used a different fence here. Or not. Oh no, it's just because it's a small portion of the fence. That's it. All right. Thought it looked like it was a different fence, but it's not. All right, there we go. Now this should also help to create nice looking roads in town, of course, because, well, there are less ways that where they can walk. And now we can st soon start to fill this up to be a um, park area. Now what I would like to do, I would like to help these people um, build a nice batch of roads. So we're going to go with a little fencing here. Create an artificial road for our villagers throughout this little area, like this. I have to go a little straight and then we can really cut some corners here. And by doing this, they will start to create a road like this. And then later on, I'm going to remove this little piece. And hopefully that will make it so that they will keep the road. Now I'm going to leave a little opening on this side. And I would also like to get an opening right here so that we can plant trees and things in here. And then we should hopefully get a nice looking area. Now I'm just going to plant all these different types of trees in here. So we'll just start off with these trees now and then we hopefully can make this look really nice. Uh, let's put in some ash trees because they are quite big. They provide a lot of shade. 
which I think is good. Uh, maybe a little maple tree. Now, of course, the trees can't go too close together, so I'll have to keep that in mind. And, of course, loads of bushes. Those were the lilac ones. Let's get the gilder rose bushes. Should get some bushes along the path as well. So that once we remove the fencing, because the path here is clearly created, then we can, hopefully at least, make sure that they will still stay on the path because of all the uh, foliage that is there. All right, there we are. This should be it. Hopefully they'll just use it in the uh, correct way. We can see that these are the guys planting all the trees. Doing a good job with that, by the way. And now we have a little park area here. Quite curious to see how it will look after a few years. Once the trees mature and things like that. They are creating this house. Very nice. Should be interesting. Getting more and more streets here now. And they actually do work. And these trees have already matured. These still have to grow, of course, but still, once everything matures, it should look really good. Let's see, the harvest. Well, they're bringing it in. It's working out. Um, they're even bringing in the harvest here, although it's not too much because of the late sowing. But still, uh, they're bringing in good amounts. I think we still have the one granary. So maybe we should put up another granary soon. In another section of town. So we have more storage space. We could well go for a granary in this part of town maybe. And then expand this way. Of course the row houses will become somewhere here. So with a granary here that could also feed the stores for the row houses maybe. Alright we have firewood stored. And we have all the metal pieces stored. That's good. We have a lot of nails, I have to say. So maybe we can already tell this guy to start making some horseshoe. We will need it in the end. So why not start creating it? And yeah, we have nobody available. We need at least one chapel for getting past 100 people. Now that's fine because there's a house being built now. But after that, we get the well and the chapel and we can continue our growth. So that should not be an issue. Uh, and we'll just have one spare house for a little bit. That's it. So uh, I'm interesting to see uh, how that will go. I think we need to place benches in here. So people can already start sitting here. I think we can see already that uh, people... Uh, or that the roads here are disappearing. So they haven't walked here that much. They are now using the road just as we want them to. So that is a good thing. All we need to do now is place a few benches. So yeah, people come in and sit here. And when they do that, they will form the roads. And I think not too long from now, this should start to really feel like a nice place for people to, to hang out and, and to stay in. Messenger from Darkachi. Let's sell some charcoal. Make some money there. It's October now, so it could also be a good time to check our resources. Uh, we have some potatoes that perished. That's not what we want to see, but that's all. We're selling firewood, buckwheat, flour, so that's working out. We still have 1400 flour up there, so that's good. They don't have enough stones yet. We need 11 more stones. Ah, they're bringing in 206. Of course, they have to walk quite some area because they have to go all the way over the bridge. All the way here, there walks a guy uh, to get to the stones, but I don't mind. I mean, they can take their time. And this game, of course, yet again, is not about efficiency. It's about how things look in our town. And I like this. Now, these are producing good amounts of food. Interesting. Lots and lots of garlic and beetroot in here. We have some garlic in here, too. So, uh, oh, interesting. 
I guess later on we'll build a few more houses with very large gardens in areas where they can easily fit and where they'll have a purpose. Right now, well, that's not really the case. And we have plenty of food, of course. We have almost 7,000 buckwheat. We... Oh, we're out of flour now. I thought we had 1,400, but we're out now. And we have 4,000 potatoes, even a little bit more. We do have a good wheat harvest, so plenty of time to make new flour. Uh, it could be time to get the extra mill out. So that we can start to produce some extra flour. That mill, of course, should go right here then. Because, well, then it's still close to the farmland. So I think that'll be nice. Build a mill there. Ah, yes, the chapel. All the resources are there. They brought all the resources to the well too. So they should probably build the well first. There they go. Let's take a look at this nice looking stone well. Well, they're doing a good job. Bringing up all the pieces of the well. Very nice. So the people here should have water now too. Let's move this up so we can get some extra flour soon. Maybe we should temporarily sell some garlic. Because we have some in town. And by doing that... We don't have cucumbers right now. So let's sell some garlic. So at least we get the extra source of food out. See, now they're buying it. They could also get some beetroot. If they want to. And then sell that. So that we at least have some extra sources of food available to everybody. Let's put in some beetroot here. Because we need to monitor the food variety, of course. In the beginning, that's always a bit tough to get all the different types of food. Luckily, we have the houses with the uh, gardens. But if you don't have those, getting enough food variety can be interesting. All right, we have only a few open vacancies. We can see that these plots are even filled up. So there were plenty of time for laborers to actually fill these up. That's usually good. That means that the harvest should almost be done. Yes. And that all of that is now in order. So that, that's working out. We now get more housing. And I think it's time to start planning a new type of industry. Namely the clothing industry. Now we need people to work there of course. But the clothing industry also needs some water. So this could be an interesting spot next to the farms. We can fill this up with a few more houses. And then here we have the uh, clothing industry next to the water. So let's see, if we want to get to the clothing industry, one of the things we need is the tanner. And the tanner is the one that really needs water. So I guess uh, what we could do, um, the road will be on this side, but I don't really mind about that. Let's just build the tanner close to the uh, water. I think that'll be nice. So here goes the tanner. It will need a platform to collect all of its uh, goods. Once we have a tanner, we need to get a slaughterhouse. Because, well, if we want to tan hides and stuff, we also need to slaughter animals. Yes, we don't have animals to slaughter yet. I know that. But that will work out because we're going to get cows at some point. I think we have some space here now for a warehouse. Yes, we do. Nice. Then let's fence off this little area. So that we know that this is for the uh, clothing industry. We're not going to completely fence it off because I don't know how big this will be. So we still have to put down a number of buildings. But we now have the slaughterhouse and the tanner. From there on we're going to go with the tailor, the weaver, the, the clothing workshop, etc. So... There's a lot that we still need to get. The shoemaker. So, the, and maybe even the uh, fulling mill, of course, later on. That's also one that has to go by the water. So, let's build a fulling mill here. We'll make it a little bit out of the way. But then we get that too. We're just going to set up the whole industry. 
And even if the buildings are done, we don't have to occupy them straight away. That's fine. Uh, let's get a tailor up. And we'll build the tailor in between right here. Yes. Then we'll get the weaver. They can already start to work because we have grown some goods there. So here we get a weaver. And we'll get more warehouses. Um, just to make sure that we store everything that we need. So we'll build two more. I like this. This is going to be a very big industrial zone. Then of course we also need the shoemaker. Um, oh, that can go like this. And now we have one big area that we can fence off later for the whole clothing industry. Now it might be that this will not do for an entirely big village, but we're growing not that fast. So this should do for a while. And then afterwards, we can always make it a bit larger and make sure that we or maybe build another section right here somewhere. I don't know. But for now, this will do. I think we can already go with the weaver. So let's start setting that up because we have hemp and flax. So they can already start to produce some stuff. And then from there on, we'll see. I think it'll be interesting. Ooh, we're building the windmill already. All resources are collected. There's no sign here about how far along it is. So maybe they'll add that later on. It's one of the few buildings where you can't see how long the building process or how far along the building process is. I think they're bringing in the goods now. Yep, yeah, this appears to be good. Oh, there comes the snow. It's December. All resources are there. They should now finish this construction. Then we'll get some extra flour. We still have 3,000 weeds to turn into flour, so that should work out. Oh, they enjoy sitting on the benches here, so that works. Hopefully we'll see the roads forming then. We won't really see that in the snow, but maybe later on we can. There we are. Two workers in there. Let's get some extra weed or flour. The weeds here in the storage. Let's get some extra flour to make sure that we uh, produce the different types of food everybody needs. But so far, so good. We still have some garlic to sell. Although it's almost out. So yeah, we, we really produced good amounts there. They're not buying this beetroot up. Guess people don't think we pay enough or something like that. But that should be okay. Oh, the amount isn't big enough. And then they won't do that too. Alright, we have a first worker in here. We've grown a bit. 210 people. But there's only ladies looking for a job right now. No men, so... That could be something to invest in more jobs for the ladies. Well, they can work in the clothing industry, so that's interesting. And with the next two houses coming up, the mills could work like in the windmill and stuff. So that should not be too much of a problem. And once we get our own clothing production chain, which is still quite a bit of work, by the way. But once we get that... We'll be becoming more and more self-sufficient, which is something that I really like and that I'm really aiming for, to build a mostly self-sufficient town. Of course, we can't build any iron this time or whatever, we have to buy that. But um, for the most part, we can try to be self-sufficient. Let's just gaze upon our town while they build another house and just enjoy this little view in the snow. All right, fun time's over. Time to do some zooming. Ooh, messenger from Merefa. Let's see. Chickens, hemp, weed. Oh, let's buy the weed. It's not that expensive anyway. And we need more warm clothing. We have 250 in storage, but it's cold now. And people sh could be asking for that rather quickly. So, um, no salt. We can't buy any iron. And there we also have no iron left. So we need to start buying iron again. All right, that could be an issue. Luckily, we already have 1100 nails, so we can go forward a bit 
until we get the chance to buy iron, but um, hmm, doesn't look too good right now. We'll manage though. What is this one doing? Oh, she's gathering thatch here. That should be the issue. All right, well, since this is going to be the clothing area zone, let's make a big arch here so people know that this is a special area. I would very much like to see that. Yeah, this is about where it's supposed to be, I think. Uh, let's continue with the fence. All right. I don't know. Does this work for me? Yeah, it's okay. And somewhat this way. Still can't complete it, but now at least we get an idea of where the area is. Here comes another house. Let's put all the thatch on the roofs. Sorry about that. Here we are. Should get a new family in because once people get married, they'll do that straight away. So they, it's not like they will get married right now and then jump into the house. Once a house is done, people will either get married and jump straight in or you can get a new family in. And since we have uh, put all the needs in the green, they can come in. You might still have to wait for it, but uh, they can come in. If the second mill working now, we still have 25 flowers, so... And two people in there, perfect. Busy with the current batch, although it's halted now, so I guess both of them got out of the mill. It's still turning, but nothing's happening. One of them needs to be present in order for it to work. Now a guy walked in, and now it's continuing again. And there we should get another batch. Another 30 flower. Alright, another house. Then we'll get the uh, weaver. We can start making cloth and broadcloth. Um, although we don't have any sheeps or whatever, so broadcloth will be a problem. But normal cloth should do. Now I'm thinking about where to place the cow sheds. I think they should go here. But that's also not the perfectly nice looking way, I guess. But if I place them all the way here, I don't know if I can get enough workers to reach them so that they can actually work there. I could also try, oh, let's just try for a bit. If I place one right here and one on the opposite side, we'll have two. We can fence off the area, so that's possible then. We can give them their own hay barracks. Right here. Yes. They can have their own well so that they can get all the water that they need. And I think we can create a bit of fencing around it so that they really have their own uh, little space. I have to go somewhat like this and then just straight behind it. Yes. And then I think we're going to go all the way here. And leave another opening on this side. So this will be the cow area. Um, two cow sheds, a big hay barracks, the well. Maybe we can even fit the dairy in. Ooh, I think we can. We have to just move the entrance a bit, but then we'll have a dairy here too. All right, let's get rid of these two pieces of fencing. That's a good thing if you don't build two long fences or just one big fence at one go. You can just remove one piece of fencing. Oh, that's not the right fence, of course. Uh, I believe we had this one. No. Uh, then it should be this one. All right, the only thing is there are no hay barracks close by. We have two here, but we need more if we want to feed all the cows. 
So we can place at least two more right here. But maybe we can just make a row of four in front of the clothing industry. This will create some sort of a barrier between the industry and all the houses and, and, and uh, livestock there. So that could be something. Oh wow, we are creating a lot of business here. Um, let's move these up. Because I think these are more important than the... Um, let's get all the preparation buildings first. The dairy can wait. These are more important than the whole clothing industry. Because we can't even do something with the clothing industry yet. Despite for the weaver and the tailor later on. And we should of course invest in more housing soon too. New family settling in town. Very nice. Oh, nice family. Good people that can work. I like that. So yeah, we really need to start to up the housing game in this area right here. In order to provide enough jobs in this area. So what can we do? Well, we can build at least one more house here. A bit like this. Just try to keep it straight a bit with the uh, graveyard walls. Yep, like that. That's a new house. And then maybe we can do houses without gardens here for a bit. So that we can place a few extra houses in this area. And that should be helpful. Let's see what happens if we just try to find a little bit the middle. Like this, and then build a fence here. I think this works. Uh, should not completely fence it off. So let's keep it like this. And then see if we can build a few houses on both sides. Can we still build houses on this side? Ooh, these are in the way a bit. So we'll have to move it up a bit. But that's interesting. How far are we? Yeah, just right here should be good, I guess. Let's not make it too long. Just fit in a few houses first. But can we now... Yeah, we can now fit in houses here. Nice. So one. And two. And we'll just give these artificial gardens. Not the real ones. Because that makes it easier for people to just walk by. Let's just go like this and create one in the middle. But this creates four houses in a pretty short space where we can actually just house a lot of people that can work in this area. Now this, this one should not go that far, otherwise we close this off. That's not supposed to happen. Now there's still a work way people can walk here but this is the uh, side of the graveyard so that's okay they don't have to go all here we'll see we'll see we're now filling up this part of town and i think that's one of the things i like to do right now uh, there is going to be a well here of course but these people also need their own well maybe we can build a small stone one somewhere that they can use maybe we can just place it right here and then everybody in town can use it even the people visiting the graveyard Oh, then it should not go here. It should go probably here. So everybody can use it and grab some water if they want to water the plants they've put on the graveyard or if they want to live here and, and get some water. I think we should get that one. Let's move that up. A messenger from Derkachi. Good. Let's buy 750 iron. Let's sell some charcoal. That should be it for now. And we can put some ladies in here, since we have ladies to spare. That can get hemp and flax. Well, we have both, so that should work out. And they can start to create some textile. There they come. Yep, they're picking it up. Should be picking it up from the farms, I guess. Yeah, because we did not store it anywhere. Very nice, that's working out. Oh, the park is regularly visited. I like it. Uh, 
There comes in the first batches of goods and they're immediately starting to create textile. Let's just get a little bit of uh, stockpile on that so we can start to create clothing fairly soon. Yeah, we don't need cows and stuff yet. That's a bit too early. But we can go for the whole cow industry and then start building these houses. So let's move them up. Like this. I'm sorry, it's a little bit of a big building queue, but I just had all these plans that I want to do. And now they're just in the building queue. We'll just have to see things get together, see if everything actually does work out. Could also be that we made a little mistake or something we want to change up, but uh, oh, we'll see about that. Still not even a year passed since they were planted, so that should take some time. Getting to the end of February soon. Let's do a little bit speed three now so that they can actually start to get sowing. So we can get another good harvest. We still have six and a half thousand buckwheat, still 4,000 potatoes. So they don't eat that much of that. I think most of the houses already have that in store, so they don't have to buy that all the time. And a lot of houses produce a bit of food for themselves anyway, so that should help out too. Getting the first pieces of textile. And it's good that now the um, excess goods get out of the um, farms. Because if you keep it in there all the time, the uh, it will get full and they won't harvest everything. And right now, these get emptied out a bit so they can really harvest it. Which is a good thing actually. Alright, here comes the um, springtime. Let's get going. Do we still have some weed left? Yeah, still 2700. So plenty of time for our mills to keep creating flour for a while. I like it now that the snow goes away. The land becomes a bit more clear. We can see that this road is now already almost well traveled. I like it. New family is settling in town. I hope they have a nice time here. They do have a garden, so they can soon start sowing things in, in their own garden. If they arrive, there they come. And, ah, she has to walk. Or he, I don't know. Is it the guy or the girl? Or is it the older one? I don't know. Well, he had to walk. He's working as a laborer, so that's this guy. Okay, interesting. That was quite the walk. Plenty of hands to help out with the sewing. These not yet, but as soon as this one is sewn in, they will move to this one. So that should help out. And uh, I like this. How much stone do we have? We already have 1100 stone. So these guys are doing a great job collecting all the stone, even though quite slow. I think we can also tell them now to get some limestone. Just fill things up and make sure that we get everything. Not going to put more workers in there because we still need workers to uh, go to the farms and work out. Yep, these are now hiring too. So this one is done sewing. It's not even the end of March. So within two thirds of one month, everything is sewn in. Now, hopefully they can finish the sewing in here too. So that should be providing for quite a good yield this year. Now that everything is going so quickly. All right, let's slow things down because, well, we've made some progress, but it's also been more than half an hour. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. Leave all your comments in the comment section. I will respond to them. And then, of course, I hope to see you in a brand new video. Thank you so much. Bye bye.